What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to talk about two ways to project single images, single cues across multiple laser projectors. A lot of times um, when we're projecting certain animations, um, you know, cert oh, like a lot of text or something, you're going to you're going to get a lot of flicker from uh, from the laser and it may not look very good. Um, so one way to uh, remedy that is to scan those images across multiple projectors and multiple uh, scanners uh, to get a much more solid um, look. Now the first way to do that is with the also to function. All right, so as you can see here, I've got two projectors set up and I have them aligned side by side. And uh, in my zone settings here, um, you can see I've got them outputting to FB3 controllers and uh, I renamed them laser one and laser two to make it uh, easy. Projector three is gonna be my also two zone and I actually just have this outputting to a demo projector. Um, so it's not actually outputting to any laser hardware. Um, so in my also two tab, and I'll just show you this real quick. Um, I'm not gonna go too far into it because there's actually already a tutorial made about also two um, that's really good that you can uh, watch to, uh, to learn how to get this set up. Uh, but I've got two zones, laser one and laser two and I've got 50% uh, sending to laser one and 50% sending to laser two. Um, what you really wanna make sure you do is just keep everything aligned as best as possible. And that's really gonna be done in this tab here, the geometric correction tab. Um, basically just a lot of resizing and repositioning to make sure that those lines and everything are uh, even. So if I go to laser one, um, and I'm just gonna select one of these cues here, I'm gonna select the city cue. Um, I'm just projecting to that one laser, and you can see that it's getting quite a bit of flicker. Um, this particular cue is pretty heavy on the scanners. I'm using 30K scanners. Um, but yeah, one way to remedy that is to project it across multiple lasers. So the way I do that is I'm gonna click on my also two zone. And then when I click on the queue again, you can see that that queue is split across laser one and laser two, and I'm getting uh, much less flicker. And the image is just uh, much more clear and uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. So yeah, that's how you're gonna set up the also two and um, just real quick, um, when you're using also to, um, let's say I'm gonna click on this dinosaur right here, um, you will probably see uh, where the lines break in the uh, middle of the image uh, where the two projectors are meeting. And um, depending on what uh, cue you're using or, um, what surface you're projecting onto, this may be a little bit more noticeable. Um, but the best thing to do is just try to keep your alignment, um, you know, as, as best as possible uh, to reduce that. All right, so this next method <clears throat> is what I like to call the uh, overlapping method. And what that really entails is, as I've got my um, two projectors here, laser one and laser two, and I just have them um, lined up right on top of each other, uh, just overlapping. Um, so again, you're just gonna wanna try to get everything um, aligned as best as possible. It's not perfect in this um, example, I know, uh, but I'm just gonna set it up this way um, just for this tutorial. Um, for the logos that I'm gonna be projecting, uh, they're really centered mostly, so um, the outer, edges of the projectors aren't really, it's not really that big of a deal right here if they're perfect, uh, but I really wanna make the center uh, aligned as best as possible. Um, and I'll show you why. So um, in this method, it's pretty simple. 
Um, I've got these logos here that I built for uh, a corporate event. And um, some of these are actually using three projectors, but a few of these are, are our two projector logos, and I'll use those as the examples. So I'm going to go into my frame editor here, and the way this is done is it's actually just splitting um, this queue or, or this, uh, this frame into two frames. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this and copy it over here because I don't want to mess with my original image or my original frame. And so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to Edit Frames. And all this is really, all you're really doing here is breaking this into two queues. And the, you're doing this by um, selecting certain points and uh, deleting them. Um, so as you can see, um, with these queues here, I went in and basically just deleted certain points and and turned that into uh, two queues. So now I'm going to select multi-queue up here. I'm going to select laser one. And that's going to be half of my image. And I'm going to go and select laser two and click on the second half of the image. So now you can see I get my complete logo. Um, and it looks real nice and clear, and there's not a whole lot of flicker. Um, and I'll show you what it, it's, this actually, this cue wasn't too bad on one laser. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm getting pretty, pretty good flicker there. Um, but yeah, so you can see uh, when I project across two, it looks real good. So yeah, that's, that's how I, I would do that.